The Turkish getup can seem like a daunting, long movement uh, that can be challenging to learn to many people. And I think oftentimes most people get frustrated with it because they don't understand the purpose behind this movement. This movement has several purposes. One is shoulder stability, working on keeping that kettlebell stable over top of the joint throughout the entire movement. Uh, another one challenges your hip mobility as you're going through this movement. We have to learn to rotate effectively through that core while controlling our hips. So this is uh, multifactorial in terms of the benefits and the challenge of this movement. Uh, to, to break it down and simplify it, we work on one word cues, two word cues that you can say to yourself as you go through this movement. So what you're going to see here on this next repetition is an example of the words that we use once somebody has seen this and we've demonstrated it, and then we want to take them back through it and coach them through it with one to two word cues as I mentioned. We'll go through that on this next rep. So we're going to use two hands to roll to our back. And once you've got that kettlebell in a steady, straight wrist, locked elbow position, you can place the other arm on the floor, and we're going to go through these cues. The first one is shoulder, elbow, hand, hips, leg, upright. Fix your hat at the top, step back. Hand, leg, hips, elbow, shoulder, back. So next time you want to learn and work on and master your Turkish get up, take time to pause in any of these one positions and say these to yourself to create that inner coach voice to help you learn and master this movement as you go through it. Once you begin to feel a little bit more confident in this movement, then you can start to go a little bit faster through it. You don't necessarily have to stop at every single juncture or word that we're using. Give it a shot. Let us know what you think.